Hey there beautiful creatures, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, I'm Kayla. I'm medicated, caffeinated, and enlightened. And today we're going to play with an oldie but a goodie palette. The ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie. <laughs> I blanked on her name for a second. Uh, at Forest Sight palette. I love this palette. It is so pretty. I got it when it launched. We're going to be using these three colors here. Well, no, these three. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. I've already got my base on. We're rocking and rolling with that, right? I tried out a new blush today. Sorry, I didn't try it with y'all, but it's um, Wet n Wild, that one of their uh, color icon blushes in Mellow Wine. It is so pretty, right? Love it. Oh, let me tell you what's on my lips real quick. It's one of the AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipsticks in Extra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Okay, let's get started with the eyes because I'm so excited. I've got a fluffy brush with cat hair on it. How cat hair gets on my brushes, I don't know. But the, just a fluffy brush like this. And we're going to start with the color Chanterelle, that like mustardy brown color. It is so pretty. I'm just loading my brush up, going to tap it off because these are a little bit powdery because they are color pop. And we're going to start by putting this right about here. This is where I want it to stop. But this is gonna go pretty much all over the lid. And from right about here into the inner corner a little. I'm gonna pick up some more shadow. Place it on the lid. And my eyelids are primed with just concealer and some uh, setting powder. And I want to kind of come out to a point here at the brow, I think. I usually do a more rounded look, but I want to try a little more pointed look. I've been watching um, Steph's Beauty Stash. She's wonderful. And she does these really beautiful eye looks so I'm kind of inspired by her today with this fall grungy look all right let's repeat that on the other eye just picking up some of the color gonna tap it off at first um, I have hooded eyelids so I'm gonna rest my eyebrows and look straight ahead in my mirror to tap where I want the edge of my crease to be which is a lot higher than my actual crease How are you? How you been? Tell me down in the comments. Do you have this palette? Oh, sorry. Could you see what I was doing? Because I couldn't. <laughs> All right. Whoa, I dropped the palette. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, got it. Okay. Welcome to my channel. I don't edit. What you see is what you get. What you get is what you clicked on. <laughs> so you might as well like and subscribe. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's put some more on this eye. Try not to drop the palette this time. Mm, holding my breath and I don't know why. Just going to wing it out just a little like that. So you have something a little like that. Now we're going to switch to a smaller brush. This is a little... Uh, pencil brush from elf I believe yes and we're gonna take that same chanterelle color and this is gonna go on the lower lash line all the way across and connect with that outer corner here make sure that inner corner is good Little like that. All right. Let's put some on the other eye. All the way across. Don't poke yourself in the eye like I just did. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Do you have this palette? Did I already ask you that? If you do, tell me what looks you love to create. Or if you have a video on it, show me. Tag me in it. Alright, once we got this color on, like that, we are going to take that uh, 
this kind of pinched flat brush. This is from Wet n Wild, and we're going to dip into the color Fiddlehead. It's that more sagey green color. And this is going to go just in the outer corner here. Let's see if I can show you what I mean. I'm just going to tuck it in my actual crease and just kind of wiggle, 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 wiggle. Till you get something a little like that. And repeat the same on the other eye. Right in my actual crease. Right on the outside edge. That's just this outer corner here. We're just going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. Until you get something a little like that. With whatever's left over, we're just going to tuck it right in that outer third on the outer corner. Just to make it connect. A little bit more here. I'm going to grab a touch more for this side since I didn't have very much left over on my brush, but just here on this outer third. And kind of pull it out to the side just a little so we keep that shape. All right, for the lid, we're going to take this little flat packing brush and we're going to take the color west coast it's the gold shimmer in the palette and this is going to go on our lid it is so pretty um do i want to spray it let's give it a little spritz i've got um just some setting spray any setting spray will work i'm gonna give it a little a little one two and then we're gonna put this right here Up a little bit more shadow now that my brush is wet I don't need to oh there it goes There's a little bit of fallout but this is the pigment I wanted I want to keep it just to the mobile lid cutting the crease just a little and blending it into that green in the outer corner with whatever's left over on the brush So you have something a little like that, and for the fallout, just take your uh, brush you did your powder with and just, whoop, maybe. Okay, let's put some on the other eye. Let me spray it with some setting spray here. And then this is going to go on the lid. Pick up a little bit more shadow. Tap it off if you need to. There we go. There's that pigment I was looking for. And then just blend this little outer edge. We're going to go back in just a second with that brush that we did the dark green with. Oh, the, uh, this one. And just smush that outer corner a little bit. No additional product, just the brush. To have something a little like that. That's how we're looking so far. Love that color. There's no really inner corner shade that I want to use. So I'm going to take my uh, highlighting palette that I used uh, on my face and I'm just taking the little pencil brush that we put that chanterelle color on the bottom and I'm just wiping it off on a makeup wipe on my leg here but I'm going to use the color beaming from this palette I think I want to use beaming the darkest one in here we're going to put that in the inner corner with this brush just tuck it right about there yes that's what I wanted Just 
so pretty. And it's just slightly different than the gold on the lid to add a little bit of contrast. All right, I'm going to wipe my brush off again. And I'm going to dip into the color that we have on my cheekbone here. It's called Poppin'. It's that pink tinted one. I'm going to touch it to my brow bone just a little bit. Like so, like that. All right, for the waterline, I'm going to add a little bit of green liner. This is from the same collection. Hopefully it's not too dried out. We're going to find out. This is going to go, like I said, in the waterline. Just like that. A little pop of green to bring in that shadow in the inner or outer corner. Tie it all together. Yes. Little liner. And to top it all off, a little mascara. This is the L'Oreal Paris uh, Luminous Voluminous Original in black. Cue the theme song music. Doodly -doo. Doodly -doo. Doodly -doo. Doodly -doo. Doodly -doo. I gotta get super close to my mirror. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, mascara. And I'm gonna pull them out to the side, very Lauren May Beauty style. A little on the bottom lashes. Same way, pull them to the side. Helps with that cat eye look as well. Just a little bit of mascara, not not tons. Or you can go ham if you want to. You can pop some falsies on. Boo, you do you. Okay, my loves, my coven, my beautiful creatures. This is a finished look. How we feeling? What we thinking? Oh, that highlight, that blush. I am feeling myself. All right, I will let y'all go. Thank you so much for being here with me. I really do appreciate it. And I will see y'all in my next one.